Hello all my Halloweeniacs out there. Welcome back to the channel. It's so great to see you again. And today we are here at Pixar Pier. I know you guys have maybe watched my Instagram and saw me go through all the craziness that is here, but I didn't make a video of it. So I'm here to show you guys all the new stuff about it. And there's been some stuff that's opened up since I have been here last. So some of this will be even new for me. So I'm gonna show you guys all there is to see at Pixar Pier. So let's go. All right, so first up, as soon as you walk through the gate, we have right here, Knickknacks. This is a gift shop full of all the stuff specifically new to Pixar Pier. It is super cool. And of course, it is themed after the Pixar short, Knickknacks, which I love that. It was such a great little callback to that great little short. And then the Lamplight Lounge has now replaced Ariel's Grotto. So if you're familiar with that restaurant, Ariel's Grotto is gone. And if you also know about the Cove Bar, that was right down here as well. They have now joined together. So Cove Bar is gone and Aero's Grotto is gone, but now it is Lamplight Lounge and their menu, from what I understand, is supposed to be really close to Cove Bar. I tried to get us reservations, but they're already booked up to like the end of September. So I can't go in and check it out right now. So we can go look around Nick next, come on. I just love the fact the whole place is decorated in like concept art and storyboards, like all around the edges, you get storyboards of all the Pixar films. It is really nice. They got these nice little additions here with just a bunch of concept art and storyboard art. Yes, darling, the store looks incredible, but no capes. Any capes, I will shut this place down in a matter of seconds. I am an animal. Try not to be too loud with that. Yes, darling. Are you going to follow me back to, my, to the place where the uh, uh, Edna Plush is in? No pictures, darling. I prefer my privacy. Oh. You didn't see that. Nobody saw that. Now, for those of you guys who have watched my Instagram, you know that I am now obsessed with the Incredicoaster. On the VIP day, I rode it literally eight times in a row, and it was amazing. And we're about to do it again because I can't go to Pixar Pier and not do it. It's just oh, it's so good. Of course, we got the Incredibles meet and greet right behind us here that we will come back to later for sure. <laughs> All right. Well, our Fast Pass is just about ready, so let's do it. Oh my gosh, I can't get enough of the incredible coaster. It's so good because unlike uh, California Screaming, it has a story. So as you're going through the ride, you're like figuring out this story and it's just, oh, it's so good. And if you want to come experience Incredicoaster Coaster for yourself or any of Pixar Pier, go look up Mickey Travels. And thank you Mickey Travels for sponsoring this video. So Mickey Travels is a Disney travel agency that's all about making sure that they get you the most magical vacation possible. If you're making a trip to any Disney park around the world, make sure you book it with Mickey Travels. They make sure they get you the best deals and make sure that you're getting the most magic out of your entire trip based around your trip. They have first-hand experience. They're absolutely incredible. And uh, the, that was meant to be an incredible thing. I'm so punny, right? So go check them out. Fill out a free quote today by clicking the description of this video or on the link on my YouTube banner. And of course, that was always here before, Toy Story Mania has reopened. And yeah, they haven't changed a whole lot. It looks a little bit different, but other than that, the ride's still the same, but look guys, even the trash cans got to remodel. It is Toy Story, it's Toy Story trash cans now. It's just, they went all out with this, guys. And like the umbrellas have like Luxo lamps on it. Well, not that one. Not that one? That one does. <laughs> that one over there does. Uh, all these down here do. It's just, they went 
all out with this theming, guys. I love it. I love it so much. So we went ahead and stopped for lunch at Poultry Palace. You can't see the actual store because it's on the other side of the Incredicoaster. That's one big problem about that place. There's no like tables right next to it, but that's okay. This chicken, I got it at the VIP day. It is the best chicken I have ever had at Disneyland, and I do not say that lightly. It was always Plaza Inn, but this chicken, unless they changed it from the VIP day, that VIP day is the best chicken I've ever had at Disneyland. So let me make sure that still rings true. Guys, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> so I'm gonna finish eating this. I'm gonna show you the rest, because this is so fuck good. I have to dedicate all my time to this right now. All right, so now that we've eaten, we're here to check out some of the new Boardwalk games. So we've got La Luna Starcatcher, Wally Space Race, Heimlich's Candy Corn Toss, and then uh, Bullseye's Dash, but Bullseye's Dash was there before. That was already there. So first up, La Luna Starcatcher. <laughs> Does, does this not look cool? Just look, look at the giant star. That's just so cool. And I love they got the dad and the grandpa. I'm trying to remember their noises that they made. But it looks like these are the prizes you can win. You can either get the La Luna Kid, I don't know his name, shooting star, winking stars, or little moons. I feel like it's a Lucky Charms commercial. Shooting star, it's winking star, and send the little moons. Okay, we're gonna scoop up one star. One star. Uh, I have a good feeling about this one. Come here. Come here. All right, let's see what you got. That's a small. You get to make right. a star or a moon on the bottom. They all say Pixar Pier on the back. Yeah, I want the orange one. The orange one? Yes. There you go. Awesome. Oh, he's a winky face. <laughs> he's winking at us. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, you're guaranteed to win something. Uh, even if it's little, you still get something. That's a great thing. I always feel bad about this one because always a lot of kids play, and I'm really good at this one. And I feel bad for the kids. Oh, these are all adults. I'll totally play here. Okay. I love the atmosphere of this one. Like, they're playing the music, and it just doesn't look like the movie. I love it. And we got little Mo up there. He's, like, cleaning. Wow, 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 wow. wow. This is so great. I love Pixar Pier. Ready, Sears, ready. I got close. I got close with that one. <laughs> All right, next up we have Heimlich's Candy Corn Toss. Oh, we get some candy corn. I love candy corn. Yeah, we know how bad this went when this was Casey Jr. at bat. Y'all remember that video? Yeah, I don't think I got a single one in, so I doubt this is gonna go very well, but we're gonna try. We are gonna try. Okay, so you get, have to get three in okay. to win. Okay, maybe if I channel my inner Heimlich, this will work. Okay, Heimlich, it is time for your candy corn, yeah? That was bad, I'm sorry. That was worse. Oh, I can do this. Candy corn. Oh, that one was kind of close. Candy corn. Oh, I got one. That's the first time I ever got one. Okay, one candy corn, two candy corn. Ah, oh, two. I got one. I got one. That's better than I thought I would. I got one. <laughs> I tried. I tried. I got one. That's more than I could say for Casey at bat. So I already like Heimlich better. <laughs> We could do bullseye stallion stampede. I mean, why not? Ah. Oh, yes. Come on, 10 gallon. Yes. 10 gallon, go 10 gallon. Woo. Yes, go 10 gallon, go 10 gallon. Come on, little ball. Come on, come on. Yes, 10 gallon, 10 gallon, 10 gallon, 10 gallon. Uh, I got, I got second. I got second. I was close. So that's it for the new board games. But they're, they're a lot of fun. I like them. And I got it. I went, walked away with one prize. So I felt good. I felt good. <laughs> okay. So Jesse's Roundup Carousel isn't quite open yet, but they did this great thing with it, where they actually like put pre-order sign and saying it's coming in 2019. But here's my favorite part. Come here. The item number. November 13th, 1999. 
Toy Story 2's release date. I love those little details. It's so good. And also the Ferris wheel is open again. But now it's no longer Mickey's Fun Wheel. It is now called uh, the Pixar Pal Around. But Mickey's still on the front. I know you can't see it from here, but Mickey's still on the front. Uh, just now all the cars are Disney, uh, not Disney, Pixar character related. So I see like Mater and Heimlich and Sully. So yeah, that's, that's the biggest difference. Other than that, it's still the same Ferris wheel y'all know and love. So I have not seen Bing Bong Sweet Shop yet. And Bing Bong is my favorite character from Inside Out. So I'm really excited to see this. And there it is. I love the Bing Bong up top. You can tell it's like carved. Oh my gosh, it's great. Oh, and then up on the top, your imaginary friend, I cry candy, and part cat, part elephant, part dolphin. <laughs> I love it so much. All right, so let's check this place out. Let's check this place out. Oh my gosh, they have the Bing Bong plush. Now, I can't tell you all through the camera, but he actually smells like cotton candy. That is actually a feature that they did, I think. Yep, he still smells like cotton candy. I have one, oh, <laughs> I have one that I bought from, oh, you're telling me it smells like cotton candy. That was great. Yeah, I, I actually bought one from the Disney store back when I worked there. And I bought him when the movie came out about, what, three years ago? I pulled him out not too long ago. He still smells like cotton candy three years later. Their smell on this is insane. So if you love the smell of cotton candy, get yourself a bing bong. You'll always have it. Oh my gosh, and there's so much. I thought it would just be a candy store, but no, there's like all this stuff that I've never seen before. Yes, everything about that's just yes. It's the, it's the scribble on the wall from the movie. There's like places where you can get cool stuff. Okay, we gotta get something. We gotta get something. We gotta do this. Okay, so they have got these amazing slushy drinks. I got the Imaginary Pal. I think it's, uh, I think it's like, I don't know what kind of flavors these are. I think that's great, but it's this. But it's kind of hard to see now, but they put real cotton candy on the top of this. It's getting soaked up, but oh, you, you touch it, it feels like cotton candy. <laughs> okay, I'm so excited to try this, guys. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I found my new favorite like sweet spot ever. Okay, I'm gonna have to end it here, but I gave you guys kind of the lowdown on Pixar Pier. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, if you wanna come check out Pixar Pier, head on over to Mickey Travels and then get that all set up for you. I'll see you guys later. Bye.